Hello my dear family members, congratulations to all of you because you are recruited in uh, your desired company because you are preparing from Techno UF. Yes, I have that much confidence in my content. I have been observing the questions of each company and come up with a conclusion that is every company is repeating the question. So today we will discuss a coding question which was asked on 16 February Take my assessment. So if you want all the coding questions and preparation materials, you can knock me at my Insta ID, instagram.com slash techno.ef. Okay, let's see what is the question that was asked on 16th February. So the question is, a company wishes to devise an order confirmation procedure. They plan to require an extra confirmation instead of simply auto confirming the order at the time it is placed. For this purpose, the system will generate a one-time password to be shared with the customer. The customer who is placing the order has to enter the one-time password to confirm the order. The one-time password is generated for the enqueued order ID as the product of the digits in the order ID. So what we have to do, just we got to know, we have to retrieve the product of the digits, right? So whatever written from a company which says to order ID is nothing but uh, garbage, right? What's the best way to uh, read a question that is just at first try to read the input sample input output or sample input format sample output format then you can implement the code, right? If uh, you know the question is coming from base basic levels, right? If this is not coming from advanced levels, right? So here the sample input is so so what are the tasks assigned to us that is write an algorithm to find the one time password for the order id right so sample input is the input consists of an integer order id representing the order of the inquit order and output format is print an integer representing the one time password generated for the order id so if you have been uh, taken the number like uh, 2342 here is the number uh, given but this is not properly visible to you i think and output is also visible by i i, I can uh, see that but i think you are not okay let me make it clear here so the sample input given there that is 2342 and output is 48 how that is just multiply all the digits 2 multiply 3 that is 6 uh, 4 that is uh, 24 2 that is 48 right so i think i have already solved this question earlier so I, I can remember that but this is being repeated again that's why i am uploading this video again right and let's say the second sample input is four three four five six okay so what's what will be the output that is four the three that is 12 the five that is 60 and multiply six that is 360 right so i hope you understood what we have to do right so if you understood the problems if you understood what the task then please start solving the problem as always and don't watch uh, uh, further if you or if you can't solve right if you can't solve uh, then please don't skip right so now i will solve the problem in java if you want the solution in python then let me know i'll give you the solution in the comment section right so the question uh, the, the actually i have recently uploaded a video that is on one code is equal to 100 code that is the video by which you can solve this uh, problem actually at that uh, particular video i have discussed a syntax i have discussed about a logic by which we can implement many problems uh, many problem solution right so you can uh, refer that video to solve many more questions right okay so now what we'll do for this particular question that is we have to take an integer input let's say s sorry the num sorry otp is equal to let's say in, we have to take input right so st dot next int sorry next int okay so now take the scanner class object scanner sc is equal to new scanner sorry scanner system dot in just we are taking the input right sorry okay just 
import the class import java dot util dot star okay so what we will uh, do now that is the approach to the solution is let's say the number we have taken here is two three four two right so what we will do we will retrieve a single digit from that integer and then we'll multiply that with one then we'll retrieve this the second digit again and we'll multiply that particular digit with the previous one and we'll again do the uh, do the same uh, multiplication repeatedly again and again until or unless the number becomes zero right so how do you do that that is run a while loop and tell them that is while num not equal to zero do something right here so what we'll do at first we'll retrieve a single digit from that particular integer so how would you do that just take the last digit how how uh, how will we take the last digit that is just take the modulus and it will sorry uh, let's say uh, sorry, 2 3 4 2 modulus 10 so by this sorry 2 3 4 2 not this is being hard coded right so we have to give otp so whenever we write number mod 10 we get the last digit right this is the remainder okay so we have retrieved the last digit as of now okay so now what we do that is we'll multiply that 2 with the 1 at first let's say uh, multiply is equal to 1 multiply last digit right and then what we would do that is we'll uh, uh, decrease the number we'll remove the number by which we already multiplied one right that means we have to remove the last digit so for that we have to divide by 10 right okay so now we have to initialize int multiplication is equal to 1 as we are using uh, as we are using mal uh, variable here right so ap apart from i mean uh, instead of using 1 we should use multi multiplication variable here right okay so this is the proper logic what we would have to Im implement here right so what we have done that is at first we have retrieved the last digit 2 and we are multiplying the two last digit with mal that is one right at first sorry then we are reducing the i mean removing the last digit and the number becomes two three four at first then we are uh, going to the next loop next iteration and it is checking if num is not equal to zero yes num is not equal to zero that is two three four so it will again retrieve the last digit that is 4 and it will multiply 2 i mean multiplication with the last digit that is 4 so 2 multiply 4 is equal to 8 now and then it will again uh, remove the last digit of 2 3 4 that is that becomes 2 3 and then it will uh, go the next iteration and check if the num be, uh, still not equal to 0 yes 2 3 not equal to 0 so it will uh, again store the last digit inside last variable right so now the what is the last digit that is 3 then it will multiply 8 with 3 here so this becomes 24 and then uh, we will again again remove the last digit from 23 then the number becomes 2 and it will check again if num not equal to 0 yes num not equal to 0 so take the last digit of the number 2 so that becomes 2 and then multiplication variable mal is equal to mal that was 24 earlier that becomes mal into sorry 24 multiply 2 that is 48 right and it will be divided by 2 then it becomes 0 and it will check again if num, num not equal to 0 yes num not equal to 0 is false here so it will not again in, uh, go inside the loop 
to execute the logic right so it will go out of the loop right now so what we have to do right now that is just print the value system dot out dot print the mal variable will get the desired output right so let's run it sorry oh sorry that should be otp right okay let's uh, make it num okay so let's say we took the variable num as input right okay let's run it i hope this will be fine sorry this should be also num okay so uh, let's say the number is two three four two and the output should be 48 right so as expected and let's say the number is three four three two so what should be the output that is three four zero uh, twelve three zero thirty six multiplied two that is seventy two and output should be seventy two okay so as expected this is so easy question right so if you want more such questions uh, if you want more such valuable content then please uh subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding tech mahindra or any company that you want and don't forget to share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this and if you want the premium materials then lock knock me up at my insta id instagram.com slash i'll try to assist you thank you for today's session